He is Keith Biscucci, and I'm Ed Holinsky, and we're from the North Tonawanda Football Hall of Fame YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us today. We're at famous Rudy's Cafe in Medina, New York. We're also here to, to visit with a, another terrific person from the Medina area, the longtime football coach, North Tonawanda Football Hall, Hall of Famer from the 1975 class, the one and the only Bruno Pacini. Bruno Pacini, thank you so much for inviting us into your home today. Um, 1975 North Tonawanda Football Hall of Famer, uh, a longtime Royalton Heartland coach here uh, outside of Medina. You're in the Hall of Fame here as well, too. Um, you have the dubious distinction to be 101 years old. So far. So far. <laughs> uh, for people who aren't familiar with you, talk about growing up in North Tonawanda. It's a long story. I can't remember too much of it, but uh, where I lived, my next door neighbor, uh, and then the uh, the group of guys I chummed around with, and I remember the time that uh, the big fire in in North Tonawanda. Remember that uh, lumber uh, the uh, uh, the lumber yard, yeah, burn. Took all the way to T Tonawanda. I remember going through the uh, through the lumber yard. We used to swim back in there, in that Niagara River, uh, only Tonawanda uh, uh, paper mill. And they used to bring the um, they used to bring uh, the wood pulp in, and these guys uh, would empty the wood pulp, and we would row our boat next to it and. Pick the the the, the 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 loose ones, and then um, they would ask for beer. You know, they want some beer. They they would throw some uh, logs in, and uh, that part of it. Then um, uh, there's not much I can remember really. How did you get involved with with sports? Oh. I <laughs> I was brought up at, 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 at the Ascension School, that's a Catholic school. And my mother wanted me to go to the Catholic school. Well, we had first year, I wanted to go to North Tonawanda High School to get to play ball. But my mother said, no, no, you go here at Ascension School for the first year. That was a freshman year. I, because I mean, then, from there, I graduated and went to uh, North Island High School. And then I started my football, and George Vetter was our coach. And he was an inspiration to me. He just started not too, he was right at that time, right around the 1936, 37, 38 era, where Coach Vetter came from Elmira and then Bucknell. Yeah. And he became the new high school football coach. Right. Uh, what were your impressions of, of Coach Vetter back then? Terrific. He was one of the best, and uh, he was a very good coach, and uh, he had a good team, and he progressed a good team, and uh, and we won many many ball ball games. We were undefeated a couple of times, and uh, but he was he was my man. Who were some of the assistant coaches back then, if you can uh, recall? The only one I can think is Rogo now. And then there's, there's another another coach that I can't remember his name. See, I'm, I'm, I'm lack of this now. <laughs> You're doing pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> so anyhow. What uh, do you remember about uh, those teams and teammates? Well, I don't remember too many of. Uh, I, uh, Bill Gosh used to play with with us, and uh, in fact, uh, in fact, we were invited to go to North Tonawanda at the Wurlitzer plant. This guy uh, got us together, and uh, Bill Gosh is uh, right now. He's, he's his birthday's coming up on this Saturday, so. <laughs> He's going to be a hundred. Yeah, <laughs> and then I think you had uh, Richard Kyle was there as well. Richard too, Kyle's another one who's who's just a little bit older than you. He's yeah. hundred and two, going on hundred and three right now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, what were the what was the playing field and the practices like 
back there in the in the late 1930s when you played? Well, our, our practice field was in front of the high school. Which is the, where the old pain, your junior where high the, school. Where the stones, all the stones and gravel in there. The gravel pit. Oh, yeah. So, uh, and, uh, uh, and I remember when I was a kid, I used to go to the football game and watch these guys come out of the locker room and we would, we would ask, let me carry your helmet, we can get in for nothing. <laughs> And uh, 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 and Dugan, uh, Duke uh, was one of the big ball players there, and Myers was one of the big ball players. But we enjoyed going to the team, and we followed them like mad. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, and, but we we saw a lot of the games. So was it your goal back then? You wanted to play varsity football for North Tonawanda, yeah. and that was that was your that was your dream, maybe. Oh yeah, my mother kept me from going to the first year of high school. She said, you're going to Ascension School. So. What, back then, uh, there was quite the rivalry against Tonawanda as yes, well, too. Yes. What do you recall about that, that Tonawanda rivalry, and what was your Tonawanda, North Tonawanda experience like? I remember, the you, you know the bridge that goes across on Della, uh, uh, Webster Street is mm -hmm. Webster. We used to meet there at Tonawanda and on, on, on North Tower on this side, and uh, we would display things like uh, 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 I remember North Tower uh, uh, throwing over a, a coffin re uh, representing oh. Tonawanda, <laughs> and it would float down the street. And, that's how we got rid of them, you know. <laughs> but that's one of those things, you know. And uh, uh, I can't remember too much of that, though. Mm -hmm. But that we always met at the at the bridge and celebrate the town of one North Town of the game. That prior to that, but you played left end for uh, North Tonawanda. Yes. Was that primarily just you were a, a blocking person? You were a, no, we played offense and defense. Right, but what I'm saying is, that, did they throw the ball much to you? I don't remember that. <laughs> Typically, George Vetter teams would yeah. run, 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 yeah. run, 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 run. Yeah, and uh, not too much passing whatsoever. No. no, I don't remember that. That's right. <laughs> You played in an era where the helmets were leather. Yes. No face guards. No face guards. Uh, what were the What was the rest of the equipment like back then? Well, not as good as today. In, those, in other words, most of the equipment made was in cardboard. Uh, shoulder pads was uh, uh, light. Uh, thigh pads and all that. Uh, we used to have our hip pads was uh, was uh, the top part of the uh, your 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 game pants, not like today. Today they look smart, <laughs> but uh, uh, th that's about it. You and your brother became North Tonawanda Football Hall of Famers. Yes. What was your your playing style like? Were you mean? Were you uh, a finesse type players? I mean, how did you play? How did you play the game? Well, I, I thought I thought I played a hard game. I I I, I wasn't a, a sissy. I, 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 we played hard. And uh, we used to, in fact, I got hard because I I when I, when I first got to North Carolina and played football. Uh, we, we played a single wing, and I played the end, and I they and um, the uh, they pulled a guard and a fullback and knocked the hell out of me. That developed me. I said I ain't going to take this next year. Somebody else is going to take it. So I became a lot not harder. Do you think the guys that you played across from the opponents they? They they feared you. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I uh, they didn't like playing against you. No, 
<laughs> I remember Jim Oldenburg, he was playing for Tonawanda. He was a big, tall police officer. And uh, he, right now, I think he's passed away, I'm, I'm sure. But uh, Tonawanda North Tonawanda game, I'll tell you, that was one of the best. One of the best. What were some of the other rivalries? Kenmore, Niagara Falls, Lockport? Uh, Niagara Falls was a, a, was a, a tough one, too. They gave you some trouble? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, uh, well, Kenmore was, was good, too. They were all good. <laughs> really good. I, I, I can't deny that. What were the crowds like, the attendance like, at the home North Tonawanda football games? Quite a bit. I mean, we, we, we filled the stadium, both sides, and, uh, uh, and uh, I, that's, I remember that concrete stadium at North Tonawanda Field, Veterans Field. Now that's, they take my, they take my, there's my, uh, my field is named after me at Roy Hart. There it is behind you. So you can see that. <laughs> after high school, did you play any college football? Oh, yeah. Where, where might that have been? Uh, Niagara University. And, uh, and uh, I played there for four years with Bill Guy. She was there. And, uh, well, we... We had pretty good opponents, and sometimes these teams were too big for us. We played Syracuse. We played, we played Cornell. They were too big. Uh, uh, I, I remember the time we, we would get out on the field, Niagara University, and do an exercise. And in the meantime, the ball players were coming out Cornell. You know, uh, Cornell. And they didn't end. They kept coming out, coming out, and they said, holy crap, we only got 20 players here. But they got 100 players coming out. And they said, we were doing this exercise, and then all of a sudden we go like this. We, did, we stopped exercising now. But, but uh, it was good. You know, in, in high school, I, I saw some of the programs. You weren't a heavy guy. You played, played that listed you at 150 pounds and probably not more, no, much no, more at I Niagara. I was 185. Okay, so you, you bulked up a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What got you into education or how did that process work out for you? Uh, uh, I had a good counselor. He tells me what to do. And he, he would say, uh, you get into a field of education. He says, there are all kinds of jobs out there for you. So I followed it. And George Vetter helped you along the way oh, with yeah. that as well, too. Oh, yeah. Did he give you advice or did he give you recommendations? He gave me or... In fact, when I had to practice uh, teaching, I got Vetter, Vetter took me in his room. So you, could... you student taught in North Tonawanda? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I took my uh, practice teaching at North Tonawanda from Vetter. Now, how, when were you hired by Royalton Heartland, or were there other schools before you got to Royalton uh, Heartland? Uh, when I graduated, um, I had um, interview from Barker and Roy Hart. Uh, Barker didn't smell me off, but at uh, uh, at Roy Hart. They had a good superintendent. He was a great guy. And uh, he asked me a lot of questions. He said, do you go by the books? You know, all that stuff. And I said, no, I combine the books and teaching. I, I go for discipline, you know? And, and you don't know, fool around in my room. So, the, <laughs> I hate to say it, but the kids were scared of me. Because I, 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 I would, they, they would come down the hall, you know, holding hands. I says, who's the dumb one there? 
I was, I was always, and now they don't come down by corner. They, they stay away. <laughs> so, but I, my treatment is different. When the kids have an argument, you know, they, they, they you, you, you got, I would take them in the gym. I wasn't supposed to do that. I give them boxing gloves. I said, now, go ahead, punch each other out. And when it's over with, I'll let you know. And when it's over with, they shook hands. How many, how many took you up on that? Well, quite a few. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, uh, I'll give you an example one time. Uh, this happened in the cafeteria. And uh, I got to know the gals in the, in the kitchen and, and so forth. And, and, and a couple of them said, you know, they say, oh, this table was, a, she said, we couldn't handle these kids. I said, tell me who they are. So the next day, I says, uh, I told a girl in the kitchen, I says, get things ready. So they, they, they pointed to the kids. So I went out there and I says, I want you, you, sitting at that table that you had yesterday. And then I went to the kitchen and I got that chocolate pudding and I slapped it on the table. And, and the kid says, we don't want to sit here. I said, you did that yesterday. So that was, they cleaned the table up, and that, that, that was it. So, like I say, I, I, I don't want to be liked. <laughs> I want to be uh, uh, scared. You want to be respected, right. though, too. <laughs> when did you get into the football program, that, or, or how did that work out? Did you work your way up as a freshman coach, JV coach, varsity coach, or how did, how did that go, work oh. for you? Uh, when I came to Roy Hart, they had eight-man football. I'm not an eight-man football player. And they wanted me to coach. I said, uh, coach? I said, I can't coach this eight-man football because everybody can run a pass. Everybody can go for a pass. And every time, uh, the, the handoff has got to be uh, uh, flipped. You can't hand it to a guy. So I, I got a number of the coaches together. I said, let's go to Lemon Man football. So we uh, we finally did. And that was it. Got enough kids to come out then? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, we had a good pride. Did you start as a varsity coach, or were you the JV coach? Uh, varsity. Okay. Yeah. And how were those early years for you? How were your, your teams? And um, how did you develop your coaching style at that point? Did you pattern it maybe after Vetter or yeah, Niagara University yeah. coach? Or? Yeah, yeah. And uh, the, 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 like I say, I go for discipline and I want hard work. I mean, you, you got to, you, uh, you're playing football, you, uh, you got to hit one another. And you, you can't be pussy about it. So, uh, I get him to scrimmage, one on one, and I would say to one guy, "You, I'm 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 on a defense side, okay, but I tell the offense which hole to to, to run, and 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 then they have a blocker in front of them, and and, and uh, uh, I I I get to them, and I say, you stick with that guy, you don't don't relieve, you stick with that guy, and I says because." The, the, the defensive guy's got to get their hands off you and they uh, tackle. I said, when you get that hand off, you got him. So that's one of those discipline. <laughs> Did you mix in some some coaching and teaching moments with that as well too in your in your style, or was it just football only? Well, no. Well, like like I say. Like, uh, I'm just trying to get a feel for your yeah, coaching style. The thing is, I, I try to combine, combine the daily process as well as uh, history. You know, you you got you got to have 
uh, like I, I would tell the kids about North Tonawanda, that big fire we had, the big this and that, the, the furnace and you know all that stuff. They got to know these things. They they just can't sit down and and wait and look at a book. But that's the way I, I I try to work. When you came to Roy Hart, did you? try to pattern it after the North Tonawanda program or or did you have a problem or it was a hard transition for you to be at a big school big program out here with a smaller school small program but I brought that with me yeah what I learned in North Tonawanda I, 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 in, in, in football I brought a lot of that stuff with me it was in, it, it, it better always taught me this. So that's... <laughs> but that, that, that was the... Uh, but I brought a lot of, a lot of things from North Tonawan to Roy Hart. Got to ask you, how many years did you coach out here and how much success did you have? Give me 30 years. I've, I've been in, in, in Roy Hart close to 30 years. And I, I and I got that coaching job right away. But it was eight man football. But right. that, we changed that. Quick. <laughs> so <laughs> I couldn't I, I couldn't see myself with eight man football. As a coach, were you a better winner or a lousy loser? Better winner. <laughs> I was a lousy loser. Did you take the games home with you? Yeah, oh, and yeah. the the losses home with you? And it would grind at you for three or four days until yeah. you get over it and then work for the next week? I did a lot of scouting and all that. That was in, it, it was, the whole season was devoted to me. My family was lost because I, 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 I would be at home working on plays. What should I do in this one? And, uh, and the scouting, uh, the, uh, the scouting I did, uh, I, 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 I picked out my defense. So that was it. If I asked some of your former players about you, how would they describe you or what would they say about you? <laughs> I, I, don't, I, I couldn't tell you that. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Who were some of your biggest influences as maybe educators or coaches uh, along the way in North Tonawanda, at Niagara, and, and even at Roy Hart? You mentioned George Vetter. Yeah, but, yeah, Vetter's for sure. Um, I, 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 the counselor at, at Niagara was good. I, I liked him. And uh, um, I can't think of many more. Uh, in, 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 in Roy Hart, well, uh, Roy Hart was g close in the beginning. I, I don't know about now, but the, the principal, we used to get, they had a lot of parties, but we all got together, and the teachers were always together, and uh, they all helped help one another, and uh, uh, like, uh, well, uh, like uh, I was teaching in one room, and the next room I there uh, was a female teacher. I can't remember her name, but I could hear a lot of noise. So I got out. I went in her room and said, "Can I help you with anything?" But the room was quiet now, because I came in. The intimidator came in the door. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, and she she says she she always thanked me for that. She says you, you, you calmed me down. She was a new uh, young teacher, so that's. But like I say, I, I would help anybody I can. And they always call on me. They really, uh, I remember one time I scolded a kid, and he. Pre he ran home and told his parents. So his dad came over to the, to our school, and I says, uh, I and I and I and 
we would go in a, in a room and he he would want to know what why why did I scold the kid and so forth. And I says, well, I says you know, I says you lost your kid when he was born. I said you you didn't you didn't tell your kids of of, of being uh, uh, polite and so forth, and he was careless. And I have to blame you. And I pointed at the father. In fact, that was a town justice, a town of royalty. And I did the same thing. And I, like, um, when Swick would bring anybody to me, I says, you bring the parents also to me. You, you, you know. And we would argue. I, I don't care. But that was it. Oh. Uh, Roy Hart was good to me. I, 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 uh, real good to me. You and your your brother went into the North Tonawanda Football Hall of Fame in 1970. You followed in, in 1975. What did that? What does that? Um, how does that feel being inducted or into that that Hall of Fame? I was. Uh, I was proud of it, really, to be selected, and uh, followed my brother's footsteps. Mm -hmm. So he he became a marine, and he was a marine, and he was he was stationed with with Bill Gosh in the in the in the islands at the uh, Guan of. Uh, oh, Guadalcanal. They, they they met each other down there, and uh, well, they knew each other because my brother went to uh, um, to um, uh, uh, Niagara too. Later on, Royalton Hartland named their football stadium after you, and you went into their Hall of Fame, I believe, twenty fifteen. What does that mean to you to have a football stadium named after you? Very proud, very proud. And the, the and Larry would take me out on the field and in a, in a jeep, and we in front of the grandstand, and um, we had an affair that that day. And all my old football players came running. Paul Merritt, remember him? And uh, yeah, it was that was something. But uh, the community also embraced you a couple of years ago for your hundredth birthday, and a hundred cards. My understanding, a little bit more than a hundred cards holy were sent. Holy geez, I, I, I can't. Oh man, I'll tell you. And Dottie would uh, get it, and, and Larry would get it, and. They would bring it to me, and because most of it was it was mailed to Roy Hart, and for um, and uh, to to read some of these guys that all over the United States now, Oregon, and they're, they're here or there, and I get a, I get a big kick out of it. You were born in the the pandemic of the nineteen twenties, and you lived through this past pandemic. You're over 100 years old. You'll be 102 in January. We're doing this at the end of September of 2023. Mm -hmm. What's your secret to longevity? I don't know. <laughs> I can't. A Manhattan a day, that's good <laughs> enough. <laughs> and and I, I, I still do my work. I, I got chores out here. I still work. Take you still keep busy. But rumor has it you still drive a little. Oh yeah, you still keep active. You're in your own home still. Yeah. Um, will you ever grow old? I <laughs> well, right now I got aches and pains. Oh, well, we all but, have that. So I mean, <laughs> but health wise, I I feel great. Mm -hmm. I I feel great. I and in fact, I'm surprised that I feel th this way. So then I rely on this guy here and his wife. They do an awful lot for me. In fact, 
I consider them my kids. A lot says yes. Mm -hmm. You've been involved with athletes, whether yourself or at different levels, for probably 90 years or so. What advice do you have to today's athletes? What, what, what could you tell them to, you know, maybe help them with their game or their, their attitude or how things should be? I say pay attention. Follow the rules. And you, and you won't miss it. You, you'll be all right. And do what you're to told to do. That's it. <laughs> uh, Could you coach today's athletes? Not now. I no. I tell you, they 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 couldn't coach the way I want. They they wouldn't accept me as a coach, because I would be rough on them. Because I I I'm, I'm not a simple guy. You got you, you got to work for what you're doing, and don't give me any of that uh, pocket, you know. But no, I, I, I it's, uh, just uh, pay attention, and follow the rules. We've talked about several things in this conversation. What would you like to talk about that I didn't bring up? I don't know. You you brought up an awful lot of stuff, really. And uh, I don't like to talk about myself. That is, I'm not that way. Would you change anything, or do you have any regrets about your 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 coaching or or teaching career? No, no, I would stick the same. I I that's why I say I I couldn't coach or teach today. One teacher would tell me, he says, you know, if you were to teach today, you'd be in jail. And that, that, that's, the way, that's the way I am. <laughs> I, 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 like I say, uh, this is where a, a, a complaint I have right now. The new teachers are too easy. They want to be nice people. You know, they want to be liked by, by the student. And I'm the opposite, and they respect me for that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, like I say, uh, every time we get a new teacher, he's he's a tough guy here. He was my athletic director, and he did he did a good job. That's all I gotta say. I have one final question for you. How should Bruno Pacini? Be remembered in North Tonawanda history and Royalton Heartland history. I hope I was a good guy. I hope I obeyed the law. I, I'm I'm for the law, and I and like I just said, obey everything. Do what they tell you. And if it's wrong, tell them. So that's the way I am. Bruno Pacini, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for inviting us to your home. This was a lot of fun, a, a, a big thrill uh, to speak to you today. I wish you well. I wish you continued good health and um, keep it going. Thank you for offering me. Thank you.